Don't you love it when you're outside doing a photo shoot and the wind is just a blowing like crazy and the hair is just all over the place. You got braids over here and, and, and fuzz over here and the hair is just not behaving no matter where you turn. If you turn the right way with the wind and the wind is too much this way and the view is not this way, you turn this way, it's in the wind and it's all in the face and it's just a mess. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way how to resolve the little hair, the blow away hairs in Photoshop. So <laughs> let's get started. Will Simpson here and welcome back to Exploring Photography. It's always good to see you here putting in the work to learn how to better all of your photography. Today I'm gonna to show you a super quick way in Photoshop and there is so many ways to do this in Photoshop. This is just a simple way that helps you clean up the area around the hair, whether it's headshots, outside beach shoots or whatnot. But before we get started, I wanna I want to talk about kind of a little bit of a PSA because I do tons of shoots on the beach and in the wild. And something I saw the other day like really, really annoyed me and I just wanna kind of have a collective agreement here to try and help protect the wildlife because this, the thing that happened was awful. I mean, absolutely insane. It just really, 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 really pissed me off. And if you don't care about the story and just wanna to skip to the how-to of this video, here's the timestamp. Just go to that timestamp and you avoid this, but this isn't gonna be that fast. Anyways, I was at a beach and I was doing this family shoot and there were two manatees and they were um, in the shallows doing their business, you know, what manatees do during this season. Uh, anyways, there were a ton of people around, crowded. I mean, close, not far, close to these manatees, too close. So I went over there and I was like, hey guys, give them some space. Like, that's cool to watch. And if you wanna take pictures, if you wanna video, that's cool, but just get, keep their space. And uh, so they all backed up, that was great. So then I went back to the family shoot and then one of the girls of the family shoot was like, what is she doing? And I turned around and there was this stupid girl trying to get on top of the manatee. And I was like, one, it's illegal to do this. And two, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Th th don't do that. So I wanna get all of your agreements, you know, us as photographers, and we're out there in the wild, whether you're landscape, whether you're taking pictures of people, you're out in the wild, you're going to come in contact with wildlife and that is great, enjoy it. But leave, give them their space, like let's, let's do our part as photographers because we're always over here to keep the wildlife safe, keep them happy and not do stupid, stupid things like that. With that being said, and I'm sure you agree with me on this, let's, get into the video. So we're here in Lightroom and I am using version 11.4.1. This is actually a couple I took some pictures of while I was at another shoot and I had wrapped up and they were having trouble taking photos. So I was like, hey, you want me to take your photo? Anyways, it turned out really good and, but you'll notice her hair is kind of crazy. So if you're going from Lightroom to Photoshop, this is a technique that is for Photoshop. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, you're gonna go to edit in and edit in Photoshop and then it's going to switch over to Photoshop. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop and as I always do, I'm gonna click on the background. We're gonna press Command or Control on a PC, J to make a copy or you can drag and drop the background to the little square with a plus sign. That'll also create a copy. Um, we're gonna click on the layer one. This is just as a backup, just in case we really mess up. And then we're going to press Z on the keyboard for the zoom, click and drag right and this is gonna help us zoom in press space on the keyboard and that'll give us the hand and we can move around the image. So we just wanna clean up this area and this area. So the easiest way to do that, again, there's so many different ways and there's probably better ways to do that, but the fastest and easiest way is using the clone stamp tool. So we're gonna press S on the keyboard or this tool here. And if you don't see the actual clone stamp, right click on it and click and click clone stamp tool. Then we're gonna make the brush smaller. Now on a Mac, it's control option. I'm not sure what it is on Windows, but if I hold control and option and then click and then move left, I make it smaller. Move right, I make it bigger. You can also go up to your brush tool here, click this and you can make it smaller or larger here. Make sure you have a soft round selected and the hardness at 0%, double click, good. And then we're gonna press option on the keyboard and this is gonna give us our selection. Click right horizontal with a piece of the, the image that you're replacing that looks similar in color. So click here for your selection. 
And then we're gonna click here and opacity is at 100%. You can do this at like 60% if you want, but just for this video, we're gonna do 100%. Make sure your layer one is selected. So let's make our selection again and just paint. Now you notice that that's a little dark, so we don't wanna use that section. So Command Control Z to undo, option to make a selection up here. That's a little bright, so Command Z. And it's just finding the right color. See, that looks good. And then we're just gonna keep painting just like this and just slowly remove that part of the fuzz. And then as you get up here, you might have to make more selections like up here, take a selection here and then just slowly paint away this fuzz. Let's make the small, the brush smaller. Again, control and option and do this. Now you might be thinking, well, Will, you're getting rid of her head. Well, you're right. So once you've gotten to the selection to where you like it, so here's the, the before and here's the after, but you'll notice now her head is quite fuzzy or it's like, it looks like it's being deleted. Well, we fix that by going to the history brush tool or Y on the keyboard, select that one and then make the brush really small. And then this is just bringing back, it's bringing back the history. So what you deleted. We're gonna take this with the same brush, just right over that like that. I'm gonna run that around very easily and bring back that hair. Now, if you wanna get super detailed, you can get the stamp tool again, make it really small and you can really get in here and remove all of this, but that does take time. And is it really making that big a difference? I don't know, that's totally up to you. But anyways, and then we go back to the history tool and we bring back just that edge here. And I think that looks good. Perfect, okay, let's zoom out, good. So here's the before and here's the after. So we quickly and easily removed all of those flyaways from the hair and it was a piece of cake. So it looks great there. Okay, good. Let's go on to the next example image. But first, if you love creating in Photoshop, I have a sky replacement mini course that is completely free. It gives you 11 amazing skies. I'll put it the link in the description for you. All you do is click the link, fill out the form, sign up for the course. It is free. Did I mention that? A free course for you and 11 free skies and goes over how to do, um, how to do sky replacements in Photoshop. There is a bigger course that comes with 101 skies and a full course on Luminar and on Photoshop. If you're interested in that, again, the link will be in the description, but just wanted to let you know. So let's go into the next image. So this is the next image that we're gonna do, and this is a little bit more tedious. First thing we're gonna do is again, Command and Control J to make a copy of the background. Zoom in by pressing Z on the keyboard. Use the stamp tool, and we're gonna find the section that's clean, that looks the same, make another selection here. And we're just gonna slowly paint away and, and let go of the cursor. If I just click and drag, it'll eventually pick up the old selection that was there. So you notice how it's duplicating as it goes over. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick up, unclick, click again, unclick, click again, and just make sections like that. Now, once you see, like you see how this is kind of blended. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a sample here where it's dark. Then we're gonna go up to opacity and lower it to about 40, 40, 40, 50%. And we're just gonna cover that right there and blend it. So this is just gonna blend so it doesn't look as cut and dry, but there you go. So that's that, come over here, put the opacity back up to 100, lower it down and just color in and Again, you see how big of a change it is there. Big difference, good. But what we're gonna do, okay. Stamp, lower the opacity to 40%. Good, let's make a selection and then blend them. So there's a nice even blend. Good, that looks good. And then we're gonna have to do the same thing here. And it's gonna have to be kind of subtle, just like that. Perfect. Make the brush a little bigger. It's just kind of subtly blending it. There we go. And that's not perfect. Again, this isn't a perfect technique. The harder the background, the, the more unique the background, the harder this technique will be for you. But it does just come with practice. Like that looks pretty good to me. 
So then we're gonna press Y on the keyboard for the history and bring back the bun here. And voila, before, after. Not bad, I would do a little bit more work up here on the background to blend it, but you get the idea, like it, it is what it is. Now for something like this, let's say you have a little flyaway, press J on the keyboard, selecting the spot healing brush, make it a little bit smaller, and then just, especially if the background is plain like this, and just do that. And that'll take away that one, and it does a really, really good job, but that's gonna work on individuals, like if you try and do that on like this whole thing here, is not gonna do so well. See, that looks that looks really bad. So that's when you use the stamp tool and raise the opacity to 100% here. And we'll just slowly remove these flyaways. If you make a mess up, it's okay. Just press Command or Control Z to undo. We'll just get rid of these flyaways. And remember, we're gonna bring back the hair, so it doesn't really make a difference if we go into this area over there, over over here on their head. So again, just a little bit of technique to do this. Okay, calm down there. <laughs> Sometimes if you use the stamp over the screen, it will give you that line because you're at the edge of the image. Okay, good. And you see I'm run, I'm just doing this really fast. This is a very fast rendition of this technique, but we're time limited on the video. I don't want to make it too long. So again, Y to bring back the hair. And, oops, too much, there we go, good. And you might have a little, you don't want it to look flat or super weird. So it's okay to have a little fly away, unless you're going for like perfection, which no one likes perfection. <laughs> good, okay, good, so here we go. Here's the before, here's the after. Super simple. And that's it. That is the quick and easy way to remove flyaways super fast, and it works on most images. If the background is super complicated, it might take you a little bit more work, but overall, it's a really easy technique, and I use it on a lot, a lot of client photos. But I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it. I mean, just hit the like button anyways, it really helps me. Go ahead and subscribe, because I'm on the road to 10,000, and it would really mean a lot to me. It's great to have you along. If you have any comments or questions or know a better way to do this, obviously let me know. If you like sky replacement, let me know. If you wanna say hi, let me know. And uh, otherwise, YouTube recommends this video for you, so go check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.